No, I wouldn't have did all that, but I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Mm. Oh my God. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that, I'm like, baby, mm, what's next? What am I about to eat? These potatoes, mm, they were so good. And the crab cakes, everything was so good. 10, 10, baby. Why the fuck this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? The fuck? It's like if you want to eat half of the restaurant, you can eat it on your dime. <laughs> <laughs> So word on the street is there's this woman that ate a whole bunch of oysters, a whole bunch of food, and took advantage of a guy. And she went out on this date. And the thing that I want to point out here, let's roll the video first, and then we'll talk about it. Y'all, so t today I leaked with this nigga I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. But today I was bored and I had time. So he texts me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like hands down. So I'm like, yes, yeah, so I can get some content. Come on. It's so good. <laughs> Y'all, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm going to eat. And I was coming anyway. But I ain't going to lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that. But I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Mm. Oh my God. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that, mm. I'm like, baby, mm, what's next? What am I about to eat? These potatoes, mm, they were so good. And the crab cakes, everything was so good. 10, 10, baby. Why the fuck this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? The fuck? I'm like, hold the fuck on. It's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes, bitch. What the fuck this nigga ate? Had to end up grabbing a towel, bitch. Nigga left me with his little one fucking drink. Yeah, bitch, I'm so glad bitch keep me some money because what? That was crazy to me. And I said, bitch, you run out on the tap. He's talking about some, I'm offering you to drink. The fuck are you talking about, bitch? I want you to pay very close attention to what she said in the beginning of this video. This guy should have never asked this woman out. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at what she says in the very beginning of this video, she says, This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. But today I was bored and I had time. So he texts me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like hands down. So I'm like, yes, yeah, so I can get some content. Come on. So that lets me know right there. He was at fault for even bringing this woman out here. Th think about it, guys. Of course, this woman is going to use you for a free meal. This man has been texting her for weeks talking to himself when you are a man and you deal with women if she is not available when you are ready to go out you give her one more try delete her number block her go on about your life but the fact that this man is wasting his time of course this woman is gonna be like well yeah i can go out let's go out to the oyster roll 
So I fought the guy for even inviting her out after she didn't even respond for weeks. This woman said, today I was bored and I had time. At the beginning of this, think about it. Is it really the woman's fault or is it the man's fault? I believe it's both of their fault. It's the man's fault for even inviting her out. And it's the woman's fault for trying to get a free me. Ladies, you know, let's not play dumb here. You know, within a few text messages, if you want to go out on a date with a man, you know, within the first five minutes of meeting a guy, if you want to go out on a date. So the fact that this woman dodged this man for weeks, for quite some time, and then all of a sudden, she was bored. Just because a woman goes out with you doesn't mean she likes you. See, I'm going to give you some advanced game right here. Write this down. Just because a woman goes out with you doesn't mean she likes you. As you can see, as you can see in this scenario, this woman didn't even like this guy. She was bored and she went out with him. So he's thinking, oh, I finally got her to come out with me. She must like me. We can go out for drinks. And then she proceeds to order half of the menu. This woman felt entitled to a meal, to an oyster bar meal. So then she goes through, she eats her food, she eats more. Now, I eat oyster. For those of you who don't know, I love seafood. I thoroughly enjoy seafood i like crab legs lobster tail oysters crawfish clams mussels you name it i eat it. so this is an entitled woman who thinks she has the right to run up a time and if i was that guy i would have left too rightfully so kudos to that brother for leaving see she was in the wrong but also he was in the wrong she went out with him because she was bored and he was right for dipping out and not paying the time. It's like if you want to eat half of the restaurant, you can eat it on your dime, not mine. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.